It's starting to become a, a love-hate relationship. Um, okay, no. It's not getting that dramatic. I still love it, but this overheating issue is starting to get a little crazy. Because, I mean, we got the... For those who got the GoPro 10, we got it because we wanted to max out the settings. We wanted to really start shooting with the 5K option. You know, the 4K 60, the 4K 120s, all of those, those, not, those nice high frame rates but it comes with a price. And I was the first ones that the, immediately, once the release date dropped, I was already at Best Buy looking crazy. Give me the GoPro. So, but I did find a workaround with this overheating issue. And it actually came from one of the comments that was in one of the previous videos. So shout out to that person. So bottom line guys, if you do drop the frame rate to, well, if you drop just the resolution settings as a whole to 1080 by 60, it completely increases the amount of time you can shoot before it shuts off. And I, honestly, it barely even got warm when I had it on those resolution settings. So 1080, I mean, HD still looks good. I mean, it's still a very sharp, crisp image, sharp, sharp, crisp image, excuse me. And you can have the option of shooting, you know, 1080 to 40 and you have the 120 option also but and ah, the reason we got the camera was because we wanted to shoot it i mean if most content now i mean everyone's pretty much shooting it at 4k if you're especially if you're putting it on youtube if you have the 4k option more times than not you are going to want to shoot in 4k and export it in 4k it definitely has a crispier image to it or if you want to shoot at a higher frame rate and resolution rate and then export it at 1080 it there you can do that too and there's reasons to do that but now shooting it at just only 1080 alone like i said before the image still comes out great now you can shoot as much as you want pretty much i was at jujitsu and i just let the camera just go i just wanted to give it a test and see what happened and the battery honestly died before it overheated before it shut off so there's still issues in there, yes, and I still want to. I still hope there's still a firmware update somewhere down the line because it's still an issue. It's still something that needs to be resolved. Yes, okay, it doesn't overheat and turn off, you know, but the battery still dies pretty quickly, even at the 108060 um, settings. That was another thing that I noticed. Like, okay, even though I have it at a lower resolution. I'm not getting a lot of juice out of it still in comparison to if I was to have it at 4K 60 and then, okay, you know, let's, let's shoot and see what happens. Like I'm expecting it, I'm expecting the battery to die pretty quickly. So I definitely got well over an hour of shooting time um, before it, it honestly just died. And I did have hyper smooth to set to high. So if you do have it on a tripod at any point, you definitely just want to turn hyper smooth completely off because it is another issue that it is another setting that drains the battery completely it kills the battery if you have boost on forget about it like even if you start to scroll and you look through the different settings it will say if you have it on hyper smooth i think it's just standard that okay you're going to increase your your battery life so they already know if you put hyper smooth boost on it's eating the battery like it will drop it probably about 25% instantly if you have it on boost. Like it, it will show you like, nope, we're gonna just, we're just gonna eat this real quick. So if you have any shots to where you're not moving, you're not doing anything where it requires any sort of movement or adjustment like that, and it's on a tripod, definitely turn hyper smooth off. That's another tip that I can give you guys that will definitely increase the battery life, right? So we kind of got a workaround with the overheating and there's a slight, I wouldn't even say, I mean, none of these are workarounds, they're just band-aids, or I guess it is a workaround, but they're just band-aids for right now. If you want to increase your battery life, you definitely want to turn off uh, stabilization at any cost, or try to keep it on standard to high, depending on what you're doing. Unless you have three, four batteries in the tuck, don't put it on boost and expect to get much footage out of your day. Trust me, it's not going to happen. So... We found a workaround, guys. Um, I'm a little upset. Like I said, this this guy here. Ugh. 
Uh, even though that's a cool looking image, look at that. Uh, yes, we found we found a workaround. It definitely, once again, it completely, it never overheated to the point where it had to shut off. We were good. So if resolution is an issue, I would still say, hey, okay, keep it at your 4K. Just make sure you have, you know, a ton of batteries and you're shooting your clips in very small increments, right? You know, especially if you're outside. Okay, if you set it to the 1080, you can go ahead and shoot all you want. You're good to go, but you still have to worry about just battery drainage, you know? So with that, if you are outside, chances are you're gonna have stabilization on, but at any point where you can turn it off, go ahead and turn off stabilization period if you do need it on make sure at most you probably i would probably recommend just having it on standard stabilization that is really really the only resolution setting where it's a nice good middle ground to where you can have a decent amount of life out of your battery i have three batteries already and the way I like to shoot stuff and what I, the type of things that I want to shoot, those three batteries are going to be done in a day with no problem. And uh, I'll do a video on, on which battery pack I actually picked up and what that's been, uh, what that's been looking like. So we're going to figure this out. Look, I know the firmware is going to come. Like it has to. There's too many complaints. There's too many videos going out uh, talking about the same thing. And it is a thing. But at the end of the day, look. I'm still loving it. We're still good. We still got it, but there's just a few things that need to be worked out before I can really, really say, man, this is like an all around perfect action camera. And there's no such thing as perfect, but close to perfect. We got to get this battery thing. I mean, it has to get fixed because most of the time, hey, if we're doing any action cami stuff, any fun stuff, cool stuff, we're not really, you know, close to anywhere to where. All right, we can just go ahead and just swap batteries out. And it shouldn't be like that. I shouldn't have to swap a battery out in 20 minutes. You know, come on. <laughs> All right, let me get out of here. More videos are on the way. Appreciate you guys. Real quick, you already know what's coming. If you haven't already, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Appreciate the love on these tech videos. If I, if I knew you guys wanted to see this, I would have been doing this a while ago. All right, I'm out of here. Peace.